Hello and welcome back to the channel and now you join me for this week's Fool's Fun Guide called Trevor which wants you to own and drive the 2005 TVR Cigaris to complete all the challenges with. Now this is car in question and it will set you back 86,000 credits from the auto show if you don't own it. Now something else to note is I haven't created a tune for this one and I'll show you why in a bit. Now the first challenge here simply wants you to earn three stars at speed traps. Now you can do this by getting three stars in one go or two stars and one star on separate runs. It really doesn't matter. Now to do this, I recommend using the Paso Inferior speed trap. So three stars on here is only 105 mile an hour. And if you get a long enough run up, not even too massive to be honest, you'll be able to smash that three star mark and complete this challenge in one go. I know it's a bit unconventional, very powerful rear wheel drive car on dirt, but trust me, it will work. Now the next challenge here wants you to spend at least 49,995 credits on upgrades. So there's a couple of ways you can obviously do this. You can just go and do what I've done and spend it on various parts upgrading it. Or you can just do it on a few big parts such as an engine swap, drivetrain swap, better tyres etc that will probably bring you up to about 50,000 credit mark now something to note is please do not go above the s1 mark because the next challenge requires your car to be s1 class so if you do that you'll obviously have to revert back some of those upgrades speaking of which this next challenge here simply wants you to win an s1 street race now obviously this is quite easy to do, so I recommend heading over to the El Lago Blanco Street Race, where I've created a blueprint for you guys to use called S1 Falls Thump. The share code was on the screen there. And it's just a normal race, but with no AI driver tires, so you've not got to worry about it. You can quite easily win this in under three minutes, depending on what sort of tune you've given your car. I just gave mine quite a generic S1 class, not even near the max. Um, so you can probably do it a bit quicker than I did. But it's a really easy challenge to finish on. And like I said, if you've got no AI competitors, it's really not that much pressure on it at all. Um, but hopefully this guide has helped you out. Of course, if you're struggling with any other challenges, then please do let me know down below in the comments. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. If you're new to the channel, I'd very much appreciate if you could subscribe as well. And if it did help, dropping a like massively helps me out. But apart from that, folks, I want to thank you very much for watching. Make sure you stay safe and take care.